Hi, this is Lindsay, and welcome to today's bonus video. So I have something kind of fun to share with you today. This is in my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing it. It is a stuffed ephemera bag. Um, it's kind of made in the form of a journal. There's pages, and it is stuffed with ephemera for you to use in your journals. And so this is kind of a yellow theme. There's greens and other colors in there, but the main theme of this is yellow. And so my idea is you can you can stick it on a shelf or next to where you're crafting. And if you need something that coordinates with yellows and browns and greens, you can pull pieces out of this for your journals. Or you could just keep it to look at because it is awful pretty. So I used two brown um, sacks like these you can buy at, I think I'm um, Junk That Treasures. I think she sells them on Etsy. Um, and so what I did was took two of those, stitched them down the middle to make a little booklet. Here's the cover. This is one of the vintage botanical images that I've um, collected. And there's some background and a button. And then I put a little eyelet there, a garment pin with a green jingle bell, and then this is a removable tassel. So you can put it onto one of your journals if you would like. There's ribbons and trim. There's beads. Look at these gorgeous wooden beads. The colors are yellow and brown and green. And there is a little um, jar on there as well. And then the little cork comes out and there's more of these little beads inside there. There's eyelash trim and all of that. So it is truly a gorgeous tassel. And then on the back, there's a pocket. And then there's a little pin, a T-pin that you can remove and stick in your journals. It has a feather charm and some other beads there. And then that's, I just have that slipped in this little burlap um, yellow flower here. But you could either hot glue it there to make sure it stays there or you could take it out and use it. So here's the ephemera you're getting. Cooking with sunflowers. This is from a book on sunflowers. This was from um, Far Mirage, the Etsy shop Far Mirage. I just did a video on that and I backed it with wallpaper. And here's a little vintage botanical, um, and I backed it with some map scrapbook paper. And you can take things out, remove them, add other things, you know, replace things. It's totally up to you. So let's get inside. There's a lot in here. All right, so the first, so first I'll just kind of show you. It's this turns, that flips, and that flips. But then there's pockets. So let's start with the first pocket and what you get. There's... Um, this vellum see-through, it says, this is so you. Here's a piece of wallpaper. Here's a little journaling pocket I made, and it says find. It's like a vintage drawer, and there's a little tag with a stamp on it. I don't know if I can get it back in there. One-handed, two-handed, I don't know. Okay. Here's a journaling card that I stitched around. Another journaling card. This is from the Calico Collage Kit and Shirley. Um, here's just a piece of ephemera I cut out from a steampunk botanical, um, paper pad. So that's what's in there. And then on this side, we have a paint chip card, frosted lemon, and I added a flower. And so there's this receipt booklet that I stitched, a Tim Holtz journaling card that I inked and added some lace to, and then a little tag that I made trying to stay in frame guys <laughs> then on this side here's a pocket and some lace that I made and so in the pocket pull it out we have this index card and it says live I stamped that and then here's a project life card that I sewed around and then this is a book a 1960s gardening book this page is and then I added some um, dangles on that so you get those and then there's another pocket full of stuff. So I believe this is Digital Collage Club. I'm trying to remember it was in my stash. But there's little fairies and pansies and bumblebees. And bumblebees, that's what my kids call them. <laughs> bumblebees. And then here's, this is um, from a Dover book that had what kind of old prints, papers and prints in them. So I added some vintage rickrack. And there's journaling there. Here's a journaling card that I made, and there's stenciling. It's a mixture of Distress Ink and Coffee, so that's really pretty, and it's a paisley design. This is a game card for a game called You've Been Sentenced, and it's about making sentences, and there's some prepositions or articles and stuff on there. 
Here's a Monopoly Junior Chance card. Here's a little tag with some deer and this is from a book, a deer and some leaves and then a giant shabby stitched tag. And then this is from like a vintage um, seed catalog, I think. I mean, it's printed. And so all of those are in this pocket. Whoops, wrong pocket. And then here is a double pocket. So this journaling card is glued on and stitched into a pocket. So here's a tag that I made that slips in there. And then this ribbon I made that's adhered on and there's a little pocket here. And then a little print of a Western Union telegram with uh, some greenery stamped on there. Here's a corner stamp. Here's a little vocabulary card clipped on there with a yellow paper clip. And then you get, this is from printed from a book about, vintage book about British birds. And then here is a tag that I made. This is a Martha Stewart paper. And then I colored this. this is from an adult coloring book. And it's stitched around and it has some rickrack on there. And then this is from a mini book on nature. And it has some quotes. And there's a bird and a nest there. And so then in this pocket, there's more goodies. Some vintage greenery that I printed out and backed with some vintage gardening pages. And a little um, index card that I added a picture from a sunflower book and a rhinestone. And then here's a wallpaper tag that I added some stitching to. A little library card with a bicycle stamped on it. A scrapbook journaling card I made with lots of stitching. This is from the Graphics Fairy and I inked it all up. This is one of my vintage botanicals and I just used some whatever shaped scissors to cut around it and then a Tim Holtz sticker laugh. This is from my kit, Feathered Friends. It's one of the journal pages. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tunes without the words and never stops at all, Emily Dickinson. So you can journal on that, clip it into um, one of your journals, add it as a tip-in, your choice. So that's what's in that pocket. And then this side has a weekly time card from Junk That Treasures, and I stamped a butterfly on it. And look at this tiny, tiny, tiny little clip I found. So that's just holding it on. So you can um, either journal here, add more things, or just leave it like that. Here's a little corner tuck with some Graphic 45 stamping on it. And then inside here we have a scrapbook paper. I'm trying to open it. it. It opens for pictures or journaling. And then a ripped journaling card. I keep going out of frame that I sewed. I did a lot of sewing in this. This is from Victoria Designs. It's one of her um, like planner and journaling cards. So this is, it says today it's a to-do to list and a priority level. A little teeny tag, square tag I made. And then a little mini bingo card that says Bloom. So that's there. And then there's one more pocket. It's another vintage um, like seed catalog. And then this is a Project Life type card that's all stitched around. And then a little tag I made. Some There's three little paper ribbons made from like crosswords and puzzles. There's a coffee dyed flip up tag with a graphic 45 stamp. And then I also believe this is um, Digital Collage Club, More Little Fairies. I think that's who it is. I could be wrong. They were left over from a project I had done and they were in my stash. So all of those are in there. And then um, I think I already showed you what was on the back. So that's everything that you get. It's perfect for adding to your embellishing or just putting with your journals because it's fun. I just really like the feel of it, the look of it. It was a lot of fun to put together something different than a journal, but still that looks like a journal, looks nice on the shelf, great to pull things from. And it would be amazing to take out the ephemera and then use this as a little journal and put, you know, write notes and stick them all back in here and stuff like that. So I hope that you enjoyed this little project I did. I doubt that I'll have too much more to list. Um, I have three or four journals to make for Christmas gifts. 
and a lot to do before Christmas. So there won't be a whole lot new for the rest of this month, but I'll definitely be hitting it hard in January, and I should still have plenty of videos up between now and then. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. Until next time.